Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with your review on the brand new Star Wars The Black Series Star Wars Ahsoka Ahsoka Tano figure. Now since she is Ahsoka in the Ahsoka series, she is 01 in her brand new Galaxy Packaging line, which I do have all eight figures that are out at least so far, uh, minus Balin uh, and Shin, which those aren't technically out, some people are finding them overseas. But anyways, I do have those eight and I will be doing reviews for them all shortly. And yes, that does include this Ahsoka because even though she is pretty much a co copy paste of the Mandalorian season two design. There is some differences here that I thought would warrant a review. So here I am with a review, which speaking of which, without further ado, let's get into the brand new Ahsoka Tano figure. Now, as per usual, before I go over the figure, I do quickly want to go over the packaging. Now, like I said, she is 01 in the brand new Ahsoka line. We have a very nice color here, but that being said, we are kind of running out of colors that they could do for future Galaxy Packaging lines, specifically the one I mentioning is Revenge of the Sith. I can't believe we're like three going in four years in this uh, Galaxy Packaging line, and we still don't have a single Revenge of the Sith figure in it. That's just baffling to me. With this figure, you know the drill. We have the Star Wars The Black Series logo up top. Star Wars Ahsoka, Ahsoka Tano. Warning, don't choke. Four plus Hasbro. There is the price tag. I got her at GameStop Canada. Got the uh, discount price as per usual. On the side here, we have the Galaxy Packaging image of her, and that is quite a very nice way to start off the line, I'd say. Obviously, it makes sense to be Ahsoka. It'd be kind of weird if it was like Ezra or Sabine, but still, just the box on its own is quite nicely designed. There you have the Ahsoka character in all her glory looking very magnificent so katano down below on the back her bio reads which same thing with the kenobi series they all have the same bio at least as of now until the future figures come out set after the fall of the empire ahsoka follows former jedi knight ahsoka tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy no clue what that threat could be i have maybe it's thronald mcdonald i have no clue but anyways we have some legalese there on the bottom oh one for ahsoka there we have the same image on the back that was on the side other than that not much more to go over with the packaging so let's get into the ahsoka figure herself now for the accessories with this ahsoka tano figure nothing too special we get the exact same lightsabers that we got previously with the mandalorian one we get the long one and we get the short one now i do have the older ones well not that old at this point lightsabers and yeah, they're pretty identical. I actually don't want to get them mixed up, so I'm going to try to keep them as separated as possible. But there is the long one. Yes, that was the one. And then the short one here, we have... Yeah, it's exactly the same. No differences whatsoever. But kind of sad that this did get destroyed in the finale of the show. But then again what better character and what better scenery to get a lightsaber destroyed when you have a Jedi shuttle with Hu Yang, who has designed, like so many lightsabers over the course of like 350 400 years so not too big of a deal i guess in the grand scheme of things wait a minute i kind of lost which one was what although wait now that i look at it no i'm just tripping i thought this one was a little bit taller but i think this one was the old one whatever it's not too big of a difference anyway but you can take the blades off like the last one and put them on her belt or wherever the holes are and you can just put them like so and then the other one can go right here and as you can see it looks okay, but then again, they kind of just go outwards, which looks like they're like blowing in the wind, but not too big of a deal. I'm going to have them in her hands, and most of you will have them in her hands most of the time, I imagine. But other than that, that's all for Ahsoka's accessories. Now, normally, I would wait to bring out the other figures during comparisons, but because that kind of is the main point, and I imagine the main reason a lot of people are watching this video, I guess I will bring her out right now. And as you can see, it is pretty identical but that being said if you take a closer look there are a lot more differences than i think you would have thought when you just saw the figure revealed at least that's how i feel if you look at the skin color mainly the older one was a lot more bright and kind of shinier this one is a lot more matte which is always preferable with these action figures and then also the head sculpt i kind of found that my first ahsoka here had the eyes looking to the side a little bit or just a little bit off center but this new one looks absolutely magnificent in comparison now for the leku there isn't that much difference going on it seems to be the exact same paint and exact same kind of lining that they did with the first version here this one though is a little bit worn as i did get this about 
I was going to say two years ago, but it's probably like one and a half years ago. So I've had it for a decent amount of time and I did get my fair share of playing with it, especially you can tell by that kind of rip in her skirt. This new one, I am happy to have another, even though I shouldn't be just buying the exact same figure because that was kind of bothering me. So I will be a lot more careful with this newer one. But for some other differences, if you look at the paint on the torso mainly, this one seems to be a little bit darker. This one is definitely more gray. I'd like to say this has a more bluish hue i don't know if i'm off by saying that but at least that's what i'm seeing and then for the rest of it i guess the main similarity comes from the belt to the feet there isn't that much of a difference although if you do look closely at the legs there seems to be just a small color difference nothing too crazy and nothing to write home about for sure and then the other kind of small difference i guess comes with the boot slash the feet the paint on this newer one seems to be better applied but then again it's not that big of a difference and shouldn't you having to go out and get this one because you just want the new Ahsoka from the new Ahsoka show when you pretty much have her already. So I guess I will go over the figure a little bit more in depth, but mainly the main point I wanted to get across with this video was the comparison with the previous one. As per usual though, this Ahsoka figure is really, really good. I know some people don't like the baggy pants, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of that, especially with the Boba Fetts. I just think it's kind of a unique style of articulation and just feels different when moving it when you're so used to just the standard I guess single jointed or double jointed movement on very skinny legs does make a little bit of a change in the line especially when you look from the back it looks like a jigsaw puzzle or something like that but I guess I could understand why people don't like that now she does have crazy butterfly joint range which I'll get into later that does kind of impact the look of the arms you can kind of just see an indent there and if you put it out too much there's a little bit of a peg sticking out so be careful and then once it's out that much you can see it is more out than this one all you got to do is just push it back in and you will hear a click. Uh, but other than that, there really isn't a lot much more to say. For articulation with the Ahsoka, it is of course the exact same, but it is quite interesting like I kind of mentioned with the leg, so I will go over it anyway. The head does go back not that much and not that much forward because of obvious reasons being the Leku. You do get a little bit of tilt and you can like turn it and just get the Leku to get out of the way a little bit. I imagine that would be even better if you heated it up, but then again, that could have the potential to damage the actual figure so maybe i don't recommend doing that but in general if you do want to get poses you can get them decently with the leku in question you do have a neck joint there and you can go full 360 but other than that there's your full range of movement with the leku in mind arms go out about that much and then like i said she has that crazy butterfly joint range on both sides and then make sure to click it back in down full 360 no uh, bicep swivel but you do have single jointed elbows which do go in a little bit more than 90 and of course do have the rotation there as well now the hands are kind of something to note here they seem very loose and like they could break at any moment unlike the previous one mainly this side and at least that could just be me but still nothing too crazy down up and full 360 ab crunch goes forward kind of not at all back a decent amount side side and full 360 and then the legs do kick forward that much maybe really careful because i don't want to rip it kick forward about that much i wouldn't go the full amount because like i said you could rip this back that much splits about that far same thing by doing the splits you could rip that skirt and it seems to be this specific spot not this one this one that always wants to break maybe it's because it has a little bit more strength with this kind of bead running down but other than that you do have upper thigh cut which does go full 360 and you can see that the uh, leg does go over the thigh cut so when you don't have it to the side it doesn't look like she has any but I assure you there is some and you can especially see that from the back you do have single jointed knees which do look kind of crazy like I said with rotation no boot rotation but the ankles do go up that much down and beautiful ankle rocking pivot first First, for the real comparisons, here we have our brand new Ahsoka next to the previous one, which, like I said numerous times, is pretty much the same. But we also do have the Rebels Galaxy Packaging Photo Reel one, which it's kind of crazy to see how this was transitioned from animation to live action but it just looks so different because this should be like Rosario Dawson. But if you look at the Leku, this is crazy. This is a shock T level Leku, but it does make sense that they kind of shortened it for live action as that would be very uncomfortable and look pretty weird in live action nonetheless. But other than that, I don't have too much more to say with this comparison. Next up for comparisons, here we have Ahsoka next to the Harris and Dula figure, as well as the Hu Yang. Both are from Wave 2 and both have reviews coming out very soon. Next up here, we have quite an important comparison being the Ahsoka next to the Sabine Wren from the show, as well as the Ezra from the show as well, although 
he kind of really isn't. I'll get more into that in the review, which that will be the next review after the Ahsoka, and then Sabine will be after Ezra. I'm going to do them in order from the Galaxy Pack, Jane, so Maroc should be last. Here we have the Ahsoka figure next to two of the villains from the show, at least the first two that we have gotten, being the Morgan Elsbeth, as well as my personal favorite, at least in my opinion in this line so far, being Maroc. Here we have Ahsoka next to the two HK87 figures that we've gotten in the Black Series line so far, being the one from the Mandalorian line, or the first one as well as the brand new red one from the Ahsoka line. And lastly for comparisons, here we have the Ahsoka next to the Mandalorian Bo-Katan as well as the Book of Boba Fett Master Luke figure along with Grogu. For my final thoughts on the Ahsoka, I think that this figure is a really good figure from some perspectives. The perspective I'm talking about is that you do not have this figure of course and if you do, I have no reason to think that you would need this figure. I only got it for the galaxy packaging and also to have one on the Ahsoka shelf as well as one on the Mandalorian shelf. And then when the inevitable, like I said, Ahsoka the White costume comes out in the line, I will put that one on the Ahsoka shelf and I'll put this one or the Mandalorian one on the Book of Boba Fett shelf. Enough Ahsokas to go around, of course, but like I just said, very unnecessary purchase if you do have the previous one. Now for my rating of this figure out of 10, based on the fact that this is a single release let's pretend the other one wasn't released previously although i do think i should mention that as they could have at least given this figure the cloak like the one that was included in that amazon 2 pack which yes i still want to get you're probably going to call me a madman i'll have three ahsokas on this sculpt i guess four with the credit collection one but uh yeah it would have been nice to get just something else to differentiate it from the mandalorian one but still like i said it is quite a good figure so i think out of 10 i'm gonna give her like a 8 out of 10 just as a figure on her own. She is quite a good figure in my opinion, but that is pretty much all I have to say for the Ahsoka. Let me know what you think of this figure in the comments down below. Are you going to pick her up? Are you not? Do you have her? Do you not? And are you going to pick up this figure even though you do have that previous one? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below and I will try my best to respond. But until my next video, I have of course been Jagger Collector, she has been Ahsoka Tano, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Meow.